All right, right beside me is the 2022 Chevy Silverado. No, I know. Sounds like a trick question. This here is the 2022 Silverado Limited, and over here is the all new refresh of the 22. And mainly, you can tell right off the bat, we got some different styling. The Silverado's gonna get a new face, but we didn't wanna go too drastic. You can look at it, you still know it's a Silverado. One thing though that we can tell, is you get these these c-shaped lights for the silver auto that's your daytime running lamps kind of change the way the the chevy bow tie fits in the grill you still get your cummerband that comes right across now one of the other little aspects i love about this you can see it's kind of got a sequential look when you're using it kind of just focuses it more on that just something subtle but you know flashy at the same time and what we have here, this is the Redline Edition. Obviously, a one little drastic change is they just put these little red tow hooks. That's part of having the Redline. And then additionally, on the inside, on the outside, you still get your Silverado. That's got your, you know, your black labeling with your red outline all the way across. Down here, you can see you get your red, or sorry, your red hash marks on these black 20-inch wheels. That's part of the Redline package as well. And obviously, you got to have a red line put it up here on the mirrors. But most importantly, what has everybody been talking about with these all new 22 silver autos? The inside. So without further delay, follow me. So here's where all the changes have been made. First things first is as I'm getting in here, you, this is the talk of the town. We got a 13 inch screen that comes right across in through here. You can see Google Maps, nice panoramic view, but also there's a screen here, which is give or take about a 12 inch screen and it's all digital, it's all customizable, but you can see I got digital speedometer and tack gauge, which works out really, really nice, clean. And here's the thing. We've seen other manufacturers where they're going more tablet style or straight up and down. That's not what Chevy and GM wanted to do with their trucks. What I really like is as I'm sitting here, panoramic view of my windshield, I also have this nice clean linear line that goes right across my dash so I can see from one screen to another to oncoming traffic with no distractions. The other aspect about it, they've kind of reconfigured this HVAC controls right in through here. You still get your dual zone climate control. They kind of just change a little bit, buttons instead of dials, not too big of a deal. Your heated seats are over here, your USBs are over here and more of the toggle switches from the previous generation were down here. They kind of moved up underneath with a little finger resting ridge for these toggle switches. Now, come on closer. I'm gonna show you a little bit more how this infotainment system works. So as I was saying before, this whole center console area has been changed and you notice something right in this area is it's an electronic precision shift gear shift. Gone are the days of the column shifter. I know some people are just going to be really weirded out about that. Where's my column shifter? But you get the other side of the fence. They're saying, why do they have a column shifter? Why is it so old? You put it here. Now you can't please everybody all the time. So this is what we got running right now. Now what I do see, you got lots of real estate that comes in through here. And with this Google Auto inside, you kind of have your home screen, you get your icons, nice, quick, legible, but you also have this little menu over on this side where you can see you can flip. It shows you what radio station you're listening to. It gives you a little bit more of your trailering information if you had something hooked up on the back. And then you got your big gigantic analog clock for those that can't tell the time here. And then you just kind of come in through here, audio. Where do you want to go? All your channels works out really well. The other aspect is Google Maps is now inside with a data connection. It got streaming right in through here. Big gigantic screen so you can kind of see where you're at, where you're driving, and it works out really, really well. Now, the other aspect you also have with your phone, it's going to work well. Once you do Bluetooth your phone, you'll have access to your wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which turns out to be a really, really neat feature. Inside over here, it also has wireless charging. You can't see it from there, but it kind of fits into a slot here as opposed to taking up valuable real estate in your junk drawer over here. The other aspect I want to show you is your 12 inch driver information cluster. So you can see right here, there's one view. When I toggle over to the sprocket and then we can go display layout and then I have four different 
options. So if I scroll down to one progressive, make it a change, screen's gonna dance a little bit, and then you can see you get a nice little layout. There's also ways that you can change what's going on on this screen. You can also have an option to what's gonna be displayed over in this neighborhood, but that's for your personal configurations, works really well to your taste. And then the other one is digital. It kind of just cleans it up a little bit more, right? And then the other one is clean, which is more of a minimalistic design. And that's if you didn't want so much to be displayed, mainly like nighttime driving while you're cruising, you just got this nice clean look that will run in through here. Another aspect of these doors, you can see they've really spent some attention to detail that comes across. You know, there's multiple layers of stitching that comes in really well, which I really like. So you start from the top, this is a little bit of a soft touch that comes in through here. Obviously some decorative, you know, uh, wood-like trim. You got your door locks that are over here. This is very similar to what we've seen in the other generation, so it's, you know, not too fancy. But when you come in through here, you got this big gigantic grill to kind of hide your speakers, obviously your Bose label, and then it just kind of gives a really cool decorative design. Again, talking about more stitching, this is padded that comes in through here. This is a nice soft touch material here, but this is also a nice soft touch material that comes in through here. And then this one's a nice soft touch material here. So you kind of have these layers where people have kind of spent some time, money, and effort to make sure even the door panels look pretty good. There you have it, 2022 Silverado with a refreshed look, whole new looks, both on the inside and the outside. So come on down, talk to Trent. Let's talk trucks.